For me, the crucial fact is that we have to order new tanks, not in a year, but swiftly, so that production can begin, and we can plan when we will have what number of new leopards then. Where will the money come from? Let me casually put it like this. Frankly, I don't care. It is essential that we can provide them quickly. We will have to talk about that now. The same applies to ammunition supply and constant resupply, and also to the question of howitzers and other armored vehicles. We have to create the prerequisites now to get this order out as quickly as possible so that the industry can start production. You've been seeing it. It was riding on the leopard. But apart from the fact that it was quite cool, it was very impressive most of all. And what I particularly enjoyed was talking to the crews of both tanks who really, and I want to emphasize this very clearly, yes, with a lot of pride and passion and heart and soul, do their job here as crews of the leopard tanks. It is a real pleasure to see the competence and the heart and soul that they really put into their work. They know exactly what you're doing and, of course, it bleeds their hearts that these tanks have to be handed over now. There were and are discussions about that, but in fact, the operational corridor for the Leopard results from the military situation we are currently dealing with, and it is characterized by the fact that at the moment there is practically fierce, not fierce. There are noticeable battles, I'll put it that way, but without any significant territorial gains on the either side, so that the Leopard operational corridor simply follows from that. And I have never made a secret of the fact that I would also rather do something else than supply weapons into war zones. But I say just as clearly, we are not talking about just any conflict here. We are talking about a highly aggressive attacker, namely Russia, which is assaulting a sovereign state, a brother state in Europe, and not only questioning its territorial integrity and sovereignty, but downright, yes, killing it, it must be said. And that is a question where we cannot withdraw, where we cannot stand on the sidelines. It is our task as Germany, as a partner with the European Union and beyond, to do everything that helps Ukraine to survive in the struggle. And yes, it is in the nature of things that this will not meet with the, everyone's approval. But we all have to bear that together, because the alternative, I think, would be even worse.
Ich bin mal weg. Ich bin ein bisschen, weil ich kann, 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 ich bin ein bissch